Hey, what's up you guys? We have the July 2020 Bakshi Charm to open. I have my beautiful assistant here. It did come a little bit later than we typically get them, but like... They said they warned us with an email. Yeah. said COVID-19 stuff. Oh, there's my little card to read. So we understand and we're happy it's here. All right, first is a uh, box inside a box inside a box. They do this to me every month. This is embarrassing. Okay, here we go. Here you go. This is the uh, Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow. Oh. Glitter, the herpes of the art community. Why? Is it? It is a weightless refined glitter eyeshadow infused with light reflecting pearls to create high impact sparkling eyes. The unique hybrid cream formula creates reflective, buildable dimensions for everything from a delicate glimmer to an intense prismatic finish. It's an interesting formula. There's like this little clear doodad on the top to keep it doodad, doodad. nice and fresh, I'm sure. Just so fresh, so fresh and so that clean. shine. Clean. It's pretty. It looks fine. I'm not a fan of glitter. Oh my god, you're going to be so good. I'm so excited already. Alright, here you go. This is the... One thing you hate doing more than anything in the world, clean your makeup brushes. I have one This of is these. the Lavish Color Switch Dry Brush Cleaner. With this quick color switch dry brush cleaner, you can quickly remove powder pigments from makeup brushes without water, reusable and washable. That's what this is right here. So now you have two. Now I have two, so and I'm... Isn't it the same exact one? Yeah, Color Switch Solo and Color Switch, they're both made by the same company. Look at that. And I really like this one, so I'm really stoked to have this one. I don't Look actually know Magic like legs. how you can clean them if you just take out the sponge. I think you take out the sponge part. And like, just soap it up. It. Yeah. But, like, I'd be worried about it growing mold because it would be hard to dry, but... Dee -dee 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 -dee. What is that? This is the creme shop. I'll take you to the creme shop. Gross. This is a clean canvas, a color-correcting cushion primer. Oh. We'll give you a clean canvas so you can create a masterpiece. This creme shop cushion primer lays down a smooth, solid base for better makeup wear that will last 12 plus hours and require less makeup. This looks like one of the, um, what the heck do you call them? Oh yeah, the thing, the thing. The foundation. It's a, I think it's a Korean, like the, the foundation's in it and you press the little sponge in and then pat it on. That's interesting. Oh, I like this. I... What is it? I don't know. I like the smell. I like the smell of it, though. All right. This is the uh, Clean Skin Club Vitamin C Brightening Booster. A powerful mix of pineapple, watermelon, and green tea extract come together to create the ultimate all-in-one serum. This vitamin C brightening booster brightens... The complexion for glowing skin protects against UV damage and helps reduce eventual signs of aging. Sick. That is market fifty dollars. That's fifty. That's fifty dollars. This is an expensive ass one. The it hourglass. Feels expensive. The glitter. It's glass. The glitter. The hourglass glitter eyeshadow was thirty. The but creme why? shop was twenty. And the lavish quick color dry brush cleaner was 17. And now. Ooh, bubble wrap. A palette. There's a Ace Beauté Bronzed in Paradise palette. The Bronzed in Paradise bronzer palette is an addition to the much loved Paradise collection. Four bronzer shades are featured. To provide a natural sun-kissed look can be layered on top of liquid cream or other powder complexion products. Hmm. Look at Mika. This would be nice if you're a working artist because it does give you a bunch of different colors that don't pick up on my camera. But they're nice. They feel very velvety. I'm interested to try this. Um, I feel like the only bronzers I use are like the Physician's Formula one or the Too Faced one I really like. There's a L'Oreal one I have in there that I use a lot on camera just because 
you need it a little bit darker with the lights for it to show up. So very excited to try all of this stuff. Obviously the serum and the color switch, I'm not really going to be able to do a first impression wear test because, you know, um, clean your makeup brushes. On no, camera. it worked. Like, no, I know, I know it's going to work. It, it'll be fine. But oh, you could use them while you're doing the look to, between. I could, but I don't have an eyeshadow palette. So it's like, yeah, I could. All right. So try on portion commence. Goodbye. Well, hello there. So I did use the clean skin serum last night and my skin felt really nice this morning. It is nice and washed and I'm just going to put a little bit on before my moisturizer. I figured I'd show that since there's not really a way you can demo this without using it for a month to know if you like it. But as a nice consistency, I don't mind the smell. And my moisturizer went on it very nicely last night. I didn't wake up to any face demons, so that's always a good thing. And I'm really, really liking it. The component itself is glass. It's frosted. It feels very expensive. And it is. So hopefully, you know, I'm, I'm probably going to get like a month worth out of this. And uh, I hope that it does everything it says it does. Or maybe I hope it doesn't because I don't want to spend $50 on this and have to buy it. But so far, so good. Really like this. Alright, so I let the serum sit in a little bit. I used my lotion with sunscreen, the CeraVe. Let that sit in a little bit. And now I'm going to use that cushion primer. The word I could not remember before. So we have a little puff here. I'm going to take that out. And then you flip it open. And there's a little safety seal in here, probably to keep it from drying out and opening it. That's great. How do you... It's a trap. I had it open for like a second. Oh, there we go. Alright. It's yellow. Um, that's not picking up super well on camera. There we go. It's yellow. I have a lot of pink undertones, so we'll see how this goes. I'm going to leave the little seal on my table so I can put it back on or drop it. I'll just get that later. So use the little puff and press into the primer. Oh my. Oh no. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. I'm actually going to test test this. I have to go to the grocery store. So I have to wear a mask. So we'll see how this holds up. I don't know how I feel. Like I like cushion foundations. But just using the same sponge on your face day after day is a little gross. Because I feel like I don't think I'd be able to wash this successfully with the little ribbon. It would probably break. So this is applying really nicely. I don't really see that it's filling my pores, but like also I have a lot of scarring and a lot of large pores. So I'm not very surprised by that. It does seem like it's blurring, which is pretty cool. Like it's kind of just evening out my skin tone a little bit. This is a really unique formula. I've never used a cushion primer before. A problematic area for me is always my nose, like around my nostrils. It just seems like foundation is just like, nah, not really feeling like I want to stick there. It's not hard to apply. So I'm happy about that. I do feel like it did even out my skin. I have a lot of rosacea on the lower part of my face and my cheeks are really rosy. <laughs> so I feel like that's, you know, it, it's doing something. I don't know. I still don't know how I feel about primers, if they're a hoax or if they actually work. So we'll see. We'll see. 
All right, I'm gonna go retrieve that piece of plastic I dropped. All right, so I primed my eyes with the Pretty Vulgar Eye Primer that I got a few boxes ago, just to give this a complete fighting chance with this uh, glitter eyeshadow. Oh, glitter. It's so pretty, but like, it gets all over your face. Well, we'll see. We'll see if this gets all over your face. I really hope it doesn't get all over your face, but we'll see. I'm going to use uh, the Cremated palette because it's my newest palette. Um, my wonderful husband ordered this for me at the restock, and I'm super excited to use it. I think there's some kind of beigey browns we could use in this. I was thinking, I think this is Obituary, and that might be Paul Bearer. I'm going to try to incorporate the gold glitter into that kind of look. So I'm going to do most of it off camera, just so this isn't a super, super duper long video, but um, we'll come back for the glitter part. All right, so I did do most of the eyeshadow on this eye, and I used the color switch a whole lot because sometimes you just go into the wrong color and you don't realize that this one has glitter in it, so it kind of just, you know, messes up your vibe and uh, you have to start over. So I color switched my brushes with that black on it and used the lighter grays. I used this one, this one, I used some of this, and it was fine. I didn't have black smudges everywhere and had to start all over again. So I'm gonna try this out. I'm going to try with a brush first. Let's see. I had one picked out. Maybe it's just easier to do it this way. Oh, wait. Here it is. So I'm going to go with this one, which we did get in a box in the past, and color switch that. I'm pretty sure this had black glitter on it. And with this kind of kind of creamy shadow you could either use your finger or a brush I'm gonna do with a brush see how that works first oh there's not a lot of color payoff here okay not a fan of that I'm gonna try with my finger there we go so I guess if you're looking for more like an eyeshadow topper kind of look use a brush but if you actually want to see some color, use your finger. It feels nice. I hate glitter. I really, really hope this doesn't just travel all around my face all day. It's pretty, as glitter is. It's probably going to end up in my hair somehow and get stuck to my scalp. But that's nice, I guess. No, it is nice. It's just... We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to blend that out a little bit around the edges once I find that thing to put back on here. It's probably all over my fingers now. That's another thing. It's just going to transfer everywhere accidentally when I put my foundation on or touch my face because it's still stuck to my finger. Un momento. I have a makeup wipe. All right. I'm just going to blend that a little bit. Um, go with like a shimmery shade here. It's like a bronzy shimmery just so it doesn't look like there is a blob in the middle of my eye that's better all right I'm gonna finish up the other side color switch and be back to put some foundation on over that primer all right so did some eyeliner mascara put some lashes on I'm gonna do some foundation next this is Joa, I think Truly Yours Foundation Drops. I shook this up a little bit, and I'm just going to put a little on, see how it goes over the primer. And with this, you don't need a whole lot, because a little goes a long way. We're going to be wearing a mask. That looks disgusting. And then I'm going to blend it out with a brush, and then use a beauty blender before it goes everywhere. I 
feel like the primer perhaps gives it a little bit more of a radiant finish. Typically this does dry down pretty matte. It doesn't seem like it's affected the coverage at all. So that's nice. All right, I'm gonna let that dry down a little bit. I'm gonna powder and then I'm going to use the contour palette. I'm gonna use some concealer too in the meantime. All right, so we're back with eyebrows and I finished the lower lash line, powdered my face, did a little highlight under my brow bone, and we're gonna use that bronzer palette here. I'm gonna start out, I think, with this one, see where that takes us. I don't know how pigmented these are, so we shall see. It's, I don't think I could have used a brush that's wider than this just because of how narrow these pans are. There's a lot of kickback. So this might be a more powdery formula. That seems like it's picking real <laughs> orangey up on the camera. So that's great. In real life, it doesn't seem like it. There's glitter on my face. I can't use any of these other shades just because I didn't think this was going to be as pigmented as, as it is. Um, I could probably use the other ones for eyeshadows or if I'm doing, you know, I guess like a different look or an FX look or something if I needed to. So it's kind of a bummer. I thought maybe at least I'd be able to use the first and second shades, but she's too pale, which is fine. This really seems to bring out all this nice texture I have on my forehead right now. I haven't really been wearing a lot of face products recently just because I have to wear a mask all the time at my job at the doctor's office and then I have to wear a mask all the time at my hairstylist job so like why bother why why waste it and I've been breaking out from wearing a mask so I'm not trying to make that worse by putting makeup on and then slapping my mask on top of it I'm going to finish up my makeup here quick. It's getting hot back here. It's supposed to get up to like 97 today. So we're really... All right. So here is the finished look. Um, my thoughts on the, the color switch. It's a color switch. My thoughts on the serum. We just got to see how it goes. I really like it so far. Um, the eyeshadow. We'll see how that wears. There has been some glitter transferring around my face. So I'm not super thrilled about that the bronzer palette I mean I don't like the design with the little narrow spaces as I said I feel like I have a lot of bronzers already and I just personally don't have use for a palette so that's kind of a bummer um, the primer I don't know where I put that but we'll see how that wears I'm gonna check in a little bit later and catch up on that and I think that's it for the products, but those were my thoughts and then I'll catch up with you in a few hours, see how everything's wearing. I did use a pixie setting spray just all over everything to try to lock everything in because it is extremely hot outside and it's going to get up to like 97 today. And I don't know what the real field temperature is, but it's going to be terrible. I have to do laundry. I have to go to the grocery store. We got those rainbow window clings for our windows. And uh, we're going to put those up today. And we only have air conditioning in this room and then the front of the house. So it's supposed to keep the house cooler. We'll find out. And I'll catch up in a little bit.
All right, so I went into the store, grocery shopped a little bit, I'm a little sweaty. I'm not sure if there's any mask marks because retina damage and it's very bright out here, but I feel like it worked pretty well, the primer, and I'm obviously gonna have sunglasses marks because of my sunglasses. So this has been on probably like eight, nine hours, held up really, really well through 103 heat index of me sweating profusely. I gotta say the primer worked out really well. Have to say the eyeshadow has stuck around incredibly. I'm very pleased with it. Not so pleased that it's glitter, but what did you guys get in your boxes? Did we get any of the same stuff? Please let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. I'd love to have you. Don't forget to hit the notification bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram. Facebook is Reanimator Reviews. Instagram and Twitter are Reanimator. And I hope you all are staying hydrated and just take care. See ya! Check, 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 check. I'm gonna cut open a box. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Or no. There's a lot of tape. There's a lot of shit in here. Alright. Well, sorry, darling.